In this video, I'll show you how to make 3D text inside of SketchUp. So I wasn't even aware of this tool until recently, but there is a 3D text tool inside of SketchUp and it's pretty fun to use. So I'll show you the basic functions of it and kind of what you can do with it. So I'll first delete these two right here. And when you make a word with the 3D text tool, it's a whole component. So I can just click once on one of these words and hit delete just like that. So now let's make some new text. You'll find the 3D text tool by going to the rectangle tool, clicking on it, and then going to the very bottom tool here with the letter A, that's the 3D text tool. And in this box is where you'll type in the text that's going to come up in your model. And you can change the font here. You can change the height here by default. This one is set to one foot. I'm going to leave it there. This box, if you uncheck it, it will give you like an outline 2D text, and I want the 3D text, so I'm gonna leave that checked. I'm also going to leave this box checked. This is text extrusion, which is the thickness of the text. So we've got height at one foot, extrusion at six inches, and I'll show you on the actual text where those measurements correlate. So once you click OK, by default, you'll be given the move tool so that you can move your text around however you want. And we're going to actually rotate this after we place it. So to place the text, I'll just click once. And now the text is set right there. So like I said, it is a component. So if I click away, I can just click once and the whole thing is selected. So to rotate this tool, we're going to come over here to the side. And we're going to either go right here to the move tool, click on it and select the rotate tool right here, which is the two rotating arrows. Or you can simply hit Q on your keyboard. So with the rotate tool, it's got different colors on the protractor for different, um, for different places to rotate it from. So if we want to rotate it on this red axis, which we do, we can hit the right arrow key on our keyboard. So just I'll quickly show you left is green, up is blue, right is red. So we're going to click on this corner here and then I'll click on this corner right here. So now we have control of it to rotate the whole component up and down. And if you're having trouble placing it, usually it will kind of snap into places like 90 degrees or 180 degrees. But if you're having trouble with that, you can just type in 90 and hit enter and it will be perfectly 90 degrees. So the next thing I'll show you is um, adding color to it. So since it's a component, we could click away and click right back on it and we could edit the whole thing in one go as far as color and texture. If I hit B for the paint tool, I can grab a color and it will paint the entire component because the whole thing is selected. So I'm going to go down and add a sort of wood grain look to it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is hit M for the move tool and I'll move it around. I'll go on the blue axis. So again, when you're moving something, if you're like, kind of stuck and can't get on the blue axis there, you can hit the up arrow key and it will lock you into the blue axis. Now I can't do anything else but move on the blue axis. I'm going to type in 30 and hit enter. So we've moved it up 30 inches and I'm going to grab another piece of text and put it underneath here and then I'll show you about the measurements I was talking about or I'll just do that here. Um, the, the extrusion, the six inches is here and then as far as the height it's actually not one foot in every single place. It's sort of like an average guideline for the whole word because uh, if this capital U were the same size as this lowercase e, it wouldn't look that good. So that's the measurements. And what I'm talking about is here in the text tool. This is your height. And again, it's not the height of every letter, but it's sort of the general height of the word. And then this is your thickness. So if I increase this to eight inches, and I increase this to, we'll say three feet, and then change the font to like a cursive, type in design. Now we've got a way bigger word. It's eight inches thick and three inches tall. So if I click right here, I've got it set, and I actually need to move this up just a tad with the move tool. So we'll go up 12 inches, and then we're going to rotate this one. Remember Q for the rotate tool, right arrow for the red, Axis, click here, click here, move it up, type in 90, enter, and now we can hit M for the move tool and move it underneath here, and hit B for the paint tool, choose any color 
or texture or pattern. And that is the basics of the text tool inside of SketchUp. So um, I think some of the use cases would be, obviously if you're making like letters themselves as far as a project, like for woodworkers or something like that. But also if you're designing a building that has like a sign outside, I think it's pretty cool that you can actually design the entire sign or like a billboard or something like that. So anyway, that's the basics of 3D text in SketchUp. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.